No, no. Yeah! Sorry I'm late. My flight was delayed and I came straight from the... Hey. Hey. You're supposed to catch it in your mouth. And you're supposed to keep throwing saltines into my face hole. I'm hungry. What's with the backpack? Oh, uh, I just came back from what I thought was supposed to be a camping trip away from my sworn enemy, people. Mm -hmm. But it turns out I stumbled onto this weird adult summer camp. Well, I've heard of adult summer camps. Very hip, very trendy, very soaring. We're lucky they didn't torture you. Do you mean by speaking to me or... Just because it was at a camp, Katie, doesn't mean it's a horror film. It was. I just thought it was weird that it was a camp full of adults. No, no, I'm not talking about horror films. I'm they would have seen you being all adulty adult and they would have punished you. As would anybody that was raised in the 90s. Except not us, because we know that you're not actually an adult. Because we've been programmed to torture adults. I don't... Did you just confess to torturing people? Yeah, but that's not the point here. I mean, the movies that we watched in childhood films taught us that adults are the enemies and they need to be dealt with. <laughs> Think about it. In all the Home Alones, he tortures two full-grown men. Katie just smashed a glass on the floor while talking about torturing people. Are we... Yeah. Yeah, but what is he supposed to do, Katie? They're, they're breaking into his house. In heavyweights, a bunch of kids get sent to fat camp and they end up torturing the adult camp owner, Ben Stiller. Yeah, because he was crazy and made them do all those crazy hikes and stole their candy stashes. Whose wonderful the candies are these? Oh, orange. look! A deli meat. Ooh! Remember candy stashes? I love a good candy stash. Hey! Can I get just, like, some loose candy and, like, Slim Jim sticks in a pile? Preferably someone else's personal stash, please. Yeah, but he was actually trying to get them to exercise, unlike the previous camp owners who seemed super chill about them hiding their food. Yeah, and he's crazy, and he yelled at them. Yeah, but they drove him to that point when he clearly already had some mental health issues. How you doing, little Tony? Bad? Why do you feel bad? Because everything's falling apart and I can't do anything about it. Near the end of the film, they put him in a hole and in an electric cage for like several weeks. Yeah, but he... he deserved it. Of course he did, because he's a stupid adult. Yeah! Smash! Bang! Thank you, Mang! Thank you, Mang. But they definitely got along with that one adult guy, right? Yeah! They were friends with Tom McGowan. Who is not a well-functioning adult. I mean, he can't even ask a woman to dance. So, do you want to dance? Um, uh, no, I have a, I have a bad, um, sprained, uh, excuse me, Tim? He's like 30, right? I mean, I get that. Then, in Camp Nowhere, they steal thousands of dollars from their parents just because they're gonna send them to summer camp. Sh summer camp? Yeah, sh summer camp, controlled by sh adults. I don't know, they have Christopher Lloyd as their adult friend. Oh, is that how you would treat a friend? Blackmailing them and forcing them to pretend to be a camp owner and then forcing them to break the law? I mean, they make him buy beer for minors and lie to the police. The beer is for me. Breakfast of champions. It's just me and Rudy running the lodge here. <coughs> okay, he was also not a responsible adult. I like him. Yeah. Of course you do. He was a wreck of an adult. He was a terrible person. That's a bit harsh, Katie. I mean, they are both trying very hard Ooh, to- Ooh, and they make him go through the car wash while he's lying to the police. I tried that after I saw the movie. Did not work out well. Car wax gets deep into crevices, body crevices. Real deep. Oh my god, Katie is right. In Blink Check, that kid constantly lies to adults and puts them in harm's way. He sexually harasses a grown woman and he steals a million dollars. What's the shortest guy you ever dated? Mm, I'm not really sure. The youngest? Yeah, the guy he steals it from ends up being a bad guy, but he doesn't know it at the time, he just does it. Oh well, yeah, I totally forgot about the weird romance plot in Blank Check. Why do the writers think they needed a love story between a 30-year-old woman and a 10-year-old? So when can I see you again, Shay? Mm, why don't you give me a call and say about 10 years? Because she is a villain too! She's creeping on a 10-year-old kid. Women can be sexual predators too. It's 2017. I'm woke. Then, in Man of the House, JTT physically and emotionally tortures the dude that his mom is dating just because he's kind of lame. Not even a bad dude. Well, in all fairness, Chevy Chase is an asshole. But his character was not. I mean, the mom, Farrah Fawcett, is just trying to get back out there. Let her have a life! 
JTT, let her live her life. So if the adult is not your parent, you have free reign to embarrass, disrespect, and torture them if they get in your way. Well, that's not quite right. Oh, good. So then we can't be trained to non -parent torture. Non-parent adults aren't the only ones. I mean, in house arrest, they kidnap and torture their own parents because they don't want them to do adult things like divorce. You guys are getting separated. What we don't understand is why. They emotionally manipulate them, they make them sleep on the hard floor without sleeping bags, and they force them to interact with other terrible parents that they kidnap. Who are these people? Although, they do feed them those delicious looking cereal burger patties. Like burgers in heaven. Hey, can you guys make me like a cereal burger patty? One order for the table, park it right in front of me. Yeah, yeah, they feed them those weird burnt cereal patties until they decide not to feed them at all. I mean, if the movie had been reversed and had been kids locked in a basement until they stopped fighting, I mean, that would be child abuse. This all doesn't sound so bad though. I mean, considering, thank you, that we've graduated from simple torture to kids straight up murdering adults. What? <coughs> oh yeah. I mean, Spy Kids and Agent Cody Banks kill adults all the time without batting an eye. The Spy Kids kill adults willy-nilly on their mission. And Agent Banks, Hillary Duff, kills this guy with a nanobot that eats him from the inside out. And her face, what's happening, is just like, it's just a smile and dead eyes. It's haunting. You're forgetting the most important torture and kill all adults movie. Hook! They act like it's about finding your inner child. Right, but it's really about these killer children who spend their entire lives just murdering adults. It's even the first thing that Rufio says to Peter when he meets him. All grown-ups are pirates! We kill pirates. Bingo. And the only adults who are embraced are the ones who are just crazy. Toodle loses his marbles and we're supposed to think that that's good. He's a good guy. Yeah, the only food that Peter can eat is imaginary rainbow fluff. I mean, that's not even... There, those kids are starving. Although how good does that imaginary feast look? Can I get an imaginary fluff feast? Please, thank you. Oh, also, the only lesson that Peter learns by the end of that movie is that he needs to always leave his giant dangerous windows open. What have I told you about playing your open windows? Keep this window closed. That's not embracing your childhood. That's a surefire way to get night chills and a stuffy nose. And falling out of windows. Or get kidnapped by magic pirates with the exact same window. Yep, in the same way we obsessively had no visible parents in cartoons in the 90s. DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Gummy Bears, Tiny Toons, Muppet Babies. Our live action movies had kids who tore tortured and killed responsible adults because adults deserve to be destroyed. Excuse me, can I have another water, please? Thank but you. But adults made those movies and TV shows. Why would adults train us to hate adults? It was a warning. What? What is the message of all of those movies? That you should embrace your childhood, don't grow up too fast, that even every adult could stand to be a little less adult-like. I haven't always paid enough attention to my kids. I pushed them too hard. What did I tell you about this window? Always keep it open! Oh! I know we made mistakes, Ned. I made most of them. Just, I don't think they would have done any of this if we hadn't done something right. You messed up big time. Anyway, I, uh, I brought you something. They were telling us that, you know, being an adult sucks. That adulthood is something to spit on and destroy. That's why there are all these hipster colonies in Brooklyn where they make adults go to summer camp. Or people who talk about how bad they are at adulting. Or all these people who get so attached to these childhood movies that they can't let them go and just move on to the next step of their life. Being a responsible adult is a choice and these movies make it sound like that choice is wrong and evil and not deserving of our respect. And that we should stay children for as long as we can or we risk becoming adults and being tortured for it. Or worse, die. I mean, we were all always going to die. That's not new. Or worse, be murdered by youth. When we abandon our childhood, we're next on the kill list. Oh my God, am I destined to be killed by my son? Yes, kill adulthood. But we're adulthood. Not if we can help it. Come on, everybody smash something in agreement. I did, I got here late and I didn't get anything to smash. Can I? That's fine. That sounds smashable, right? Ho! Oh! Bro! I dropped all my invisible stuff. 
Yeah. Not a boy. I just don't so. want her to know. I want to eat it all. I don't yeah. want to drop any. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching that. Make sure you click the big C in the middle to subscribe or click any of the boxes of videos on the right to watch more of our funny videos. Make sure you click on that dumb f***ing bell so YouTube lets you know when a new one of our videos comes out. And if you want to watch Soren eat one of these burgers, text 696969 right now to one of your parents.